This is a good Psalms to say if you sick. Psalm chapter 6. Man, that means all of them know me then. I never seen that big dude before, ever. You see? Then you yeah. never know who's watching. Yeah, because <laughs> they, they, they all look at you on camera, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Psalm chapter 6, verse 1. This is David. He said, O Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, neither chasten, chastise me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed, for thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. Save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave, whom shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All night make my bed to swim. I water with my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of my grief. It waxes old because of all my enemies. Oh. Verse 8. Depart from me all the workers of iniquity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. And also, um, Psalms 142. But like that scripture says, the main point, verse 2, he said, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. Because we all want the most high to heal us in this town. And like Christ said, a lot of things, what, what heal our people too, fasting. You know, you can fast half a day and pray, man. Fasting and pray. And I don't know if you went to any herbs. You went to any herbs? You, went, you take a lot of herbs? Oh, yeah. Like garlic, bitter oh, melon, yeah, I, I olive leaf. All natural goods are free. Because I know well, there's a whole food store downstairs. That's where I go. Yeah. <laughs> what most people her do, her they look up the herbal right. remedy for their condition. You say you got diabetes? Bitter melon. Bitter melon or corilla. You ever heard of that? Bitter melon, corilla. That heal there's people, there's a guy which is other testimony who healed a diabetes naturally. There was a dude, um can't remember this guy's name, man. But he um Yeah. He had diabetes, right? So he went on a vegan diet for three months. He cut meat out of his diet, potatoes, starch, sugar. And he, he, he took bitter melon twice a day and he just ate nothing but vegetables, vegetables and fruits. After three months, went back to the doctor. The doctor said, uh, Thank you, Jody, I don't see no trace of your diabetes. So, this pain, because I saw diabetes, this is a damaged pancreas that turns insulin into sugar. So then he told the doctor exactly what he did. You know what the doctor told him? Don't tell nobody what you did. Keep that information to yourself. Well, it's all about money. Money. It's money. Because if everybody was tapping into them herbs, they wouldn't need them. <laughs> they wouldn't need them. They make billions of dollars a year sure. on being sick. That's right. Billions, man. I know. I used to work in a hospital. I know. Unbelievable, man. Taking nine pills a day to stay alive. Come on, man, what did the most high say? Let me get a scripture real quick. Keep up the good work. We will be rewarded.
Save him, Mercedes. You know, whatever you do, you have to do a lot of work for you. Lord willing, I appreciate that. Appreciate the encouragement. one and one. The Spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Like that woman that came up. She was meek. She was hungry. She was willing to listen. Man. And that's what the majority of our people going to get killed because you don't listen, man. Alright? Anyway, let me read it again. Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord power is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. All right? But well, what's the good tidings? Their nationality. Knowing the heavenly father and his son's name in the Hebrew. Keeping the commandments, having faith. And if you do all those things, you're going to receive the kingdom of heaven. You Negroes, Hispanics, and you native Indians, man. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And you so-called Negroes and Hispanics, you are captives here, man. Underneath the white man, man. Because this is his society. Okay? But like Christ said, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Okay? Not no damn money. Polite. Sonetta. These pork chop eating preachers. That's what they preach. Prosperity, man. The only prosperity is in these scriptures, man. Anyway, I'm keeping Isaiah 61 and 1. He has sent me to bind up broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and opening of the prison to them that are bound, man. Now, a lot of our people are bound mentally and spiritually and physically. Why? Because you forsook your Al Bashimi Al Shah. When you forsook your God and your power, he forsook you, man. So we got to return back. Hosea chapter 6, verse 1. Hosea chapter 6 verse 1 Come, let us return unto the Lord For he have torn and he will heal us He has smitten and he will bind us up After two days will he revive us Are we in it after the two days right now? Okay, a day is a thousand years with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So we in the beginning of the third day right now This is when we going to get the kingdom man and for that to happen, America got to be destroyed, man. Because America have made our people sick, man. That's why you glorify gangbanging, being a faggot, man, adultery. It's because of America, man. And these people out here, they're going to be destroyed, man. They're paying the camera on this nonsense, man. See? that again Hosea 6 and 1 come let us return unto the Lord we have torn and he will heal us he has smitten and he will bind us up after two days will he revive us and that's when you got the elect brothers across the globe waking back up to this knowledge man waking back up to this truth man because the time is at hand okay see all these things happening it's time to wake up, man. The scripture says it's high time to wake up out of sleep. But now is our salvation. There it 
than when we believe. All right? After two days, we'll leave a Bible. And the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight, man. We got another precept. Proverbs chapter 16. Proverbs 16, verse 16. Spirit's acting up out here, man. Got this word coming out, man. Them demons getting active, man. Anyway, Proverbs 16, verse 16. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? Because all these riches, especially in this empire, is temporary. Okay, you got niggas selling out. Hell, you got Israelites selling out, man. For money. For filthy lucre. We get that precept in a minute. And they're going to be destroyed because of that, man. The only thing you're supposed to invest in is this knowledge, this truth. That's why the elders always tell you, brother. You know, and that goes for me too, man. You got to put more videos up. You got to do more shows. We all got to keep edifying, man. Okay? You got this fucking foolishness across the street. Because the end is not. We're getting ever closer to this thing, man. So you got to be more and more on fire for this truth. And the things you're supposed to pray for is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because that's going to keep you stable in the times of trouble. Anyway, let me keep reading. It says, Proverbs 16, verse 16. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? And to get understanding rather than to be chosen than silver, man. Let me get another precept. Proverbs 11 and 4. Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. And the day of wrath is approaching this country. That's why it's going to be a police state real soon, man. That's what they're doing all these military drills, man. And we got to keep stressing that. I think you had a shooting today in Dallas. Some of uh, the spirit don't have a I look at the bottom of man. All these are staged events, man. That was staged, man. More than likely through the spirit. That probably was staged, man. Okay, all these events, and I'm going to bring that out later. They can try to demonize you. Okay? The feds will come up again. Because we're preaching it now. Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. So your money can't save you, man. You invested in gold and silver, but it's not going to save you, man. You trying to buy a fool, it's not going to save you, man. If you had that homosexual early, he even said, man can't live on bread alone. But by every word we proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. But righteousness delivered from death. And what's righteousness? Keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. Doing the right thing, man. That's what's going to keep you stable. You're not being a part of this world or this empire, man. But if you're a part of the ways of America, you're going to go down with it. And we're ever so much closer to this place going down, man. America's on its way out. First John chapter 2 verse 15. First John 2 15. Love not the world, neither anything that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay, and I just mentioned all the sins that our people are doing. Okay, that means you love this world, man. Because these rappers, these, the school system, these wicked ass drug dealers, they all teach the same thing, man. Money, man. 
Like that wicked nigga 50 cents, get rich or die trying. That's being of the world, man. The scripture says you're not supposed to be of the world. Read that again, 1 John 2.15. Love not the world, not in anything that it that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So the Most High is not dealing with you, man. That's why Christ going to come back and destroy this place. Because he's not of the world. Like he told Pontius Pilate, my kingdom is not of this world, man. If my kingdom was of this world, my servants will fight. Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. These people don't give thanks to the Heavenly Father, man. They don't give thanks to the Most High, man. Because they have the pride of life. That's what they speak on what they're going to do 50 years from now. Not knowing that this country, damn, they had only probably even got five years, man. America's not even on its last leg, it's on its knees. Okay? That's what we're so ever much more to focus on. and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High, what's the will of the Most High? Keeping the commandments and the faith and the work of the Most in this word, man, your works. Because that's what's going to get you saved and delivered. Prove that. Second answer, chapter 9. Obamacare is mandatory, you have the RFID chip, it's in Obamacare, and then you got a police state, and then of course you got World War III is about to happen, man. So the scripture says the end is manifest. Second, read that again. For all like, for, all, for like as all is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works, and end is in effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works. What's the work? Coming out here and preaching. Coming out here warning the elect and condemning the two-thirds. That's your works. That's why you can show the God that you're willing or that you're worthy of being saved or delivered. You've got to come out here and look like a fool for Christ as it is written. Just like all the prophets did in times past. Heavenly Father wants to show you, you have to show your faithfulness. And the only way you can show that is by coming out here and making your body a living sacrifice. It says, Everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works. 